for sure. Okay, okay. Nice, fantastic. So now to Saturn and Venus. <laughs> okay, Saturn and Venus um, is, is difficult because Venus is really such an important planet. It's the brightest planet there is. It's a planet of rejuvenation and fulfillment. So after everything gets done, after everything we do, we want a sense of fulfillment with it. If we get a sense of fulfillment with it, then we're able to leave it, to, pick, to move on to something else. So if you, if you go down to eat and you fill your stomach, now you're ready to go to work happily, right? But if you sit down to eat and you only eat a little bit that you actually feel hungrier than when you started and then you have to go to work already, you know, that's it's kind of frustrating. Well, Venus is the planet that always gives that fulfillment that, okay, I'm at peace because I'm fulfilled, I'm content, okay? With the Saturn Venus there, the person literally does not get their fair share of fulfillment. They literally get screwed out of fulfilling experiences. And of course, the most fulfilling, rejuvenating experience that humans can experience is love, right? You know, human love is very rejuvenating. It's very fulfilling. And these people are starved from it. Their relationships are very, very difficult. Um, now, on the other hand, you know how you mentioned how people always try really hard when a planet's with Saturn, you know? Well, Saturn and Venus people try really hard to be good partners. You know, I usually find they really try to be a good partner, but they usually just get cheated. You know, they get cheated by their partners. I've seen women with this conjunction, just, you know, end up being with the worst men imaginable. They just, they just are men who are, have terrible relationship skills because relationship is about a win-win situation where you get something that rejuvenates you but you take care of what rejuvenates you so that you can be rejuvenated the next day, right? And, you know, this, this is how nature works. Venus is the planet of nature, actually. Venus is a natural planet, a nature-loving planet. Um, and that's why Venus and Saturn are friends to each other and Saturn's exalted in Venus's sign because Saturn is nature in a rugged form. But the love of nature is Venus. Venus respects natural laws. That's why he's the guru of the demons, you know, who want to be on earth and party because there's natural laws that have to be followed. So for instance, if I want to build a house and have a nice, warm, beautiful house, I have to cut a tree down. If I cut a tree down and plant another tree, in 40 years when I want to build a new house, there'll be a tree to build the house from, right? And Venus would know that. Venus would go, yeah, we have to take care of what nourishes us. We have to take care of the earth. We have to take care of the animals. We have to take care of nature, which nourishes us. A lot of the problems we have in the world now are because we don't take care of what nourishes us. We don't take care of the water supply, the air supply, the forests, the rivers, the oceans. And as a result, eventually those things can no longer nourish us and we will suffer. So Venus is a healthy Venus gets nourished but takes care of what nourishes it so that the nourishment can continue as a cycle where both parties are constantly not constantly but continually nourished okay and that's what a good relationship is about i nourish you but you nourish me too and that way we both are nourished if you only nourish me and i never nourish you eventually you'll be so sick you won't be able to nourish me and i won't get nourished either and i'll die that's a bad relationship okay so Saturn and Venus people get into bad relationships, okay, which means they get into relationships where both people can't nourish each other. Either one person's doing all the nourishing um, and the other person's not. So eventually the person who's doing all the nourishing cracks. At that point, they might, have, they might run off and have an affair. They might leave their marriage because they need to find nourishment somewhere else because they just are so, they get so starved for nourishment from another person. Um, women with this combination usually end up with men who don't nourish them or actually abuse them. Um, men with this combination usually end up with women who can't nourish themselves at all. So they expect the husband to nourish them excessively. They need the husband to nourish them too much, more than the husband can do. And so eventually the husband just can't do it anymore. So it's a real lack of balance in the relationships where there's not a cycle of nourishment, where both people nourish each other 
and can continue to nourish each other because they provide for each other nourishment and rejuvenation. Instead, it's one person doing it nourishment until they can't anymore. And one person being nourished, um, but never having anything to give back, any either, you know, still can't give anything back. And so eventually it caused their relationships to end. And, um, you know, so it makes relationships very difficult. Now, Saturn aspecting Venus is great, but a Saturn-Venus conjunction starves the cycle of being, knowing how to attract someone into life, having a person in their life. And it's literally a karmic thing where the person ends up getting people that just don't nourish them. You know, um, no matter how hard they try, and I've seen men and women with this combination just be the best husbands and wives, just do so much for their partner, but their partners just have nothing to give back to them. And so eventually, the Saturn Venus person ends up leaving their partner and oftentimes will actually look like the bad person because they'll cheat on their partner or leave and ask for a divorce and people will think they're the bad person. But the truth is, they're the ones who've been working really hard but never getting nourishment back to where eventually they just can't survive there anymore and they have to leave. When I see this combination, I'll oftentimes tell the person that, that look, you have to start nourishing yourself more because these people will, will literally nourish the other person too much. They won't take enough time to nourish themselves. They end up being starved both by themselves and by their partner. And I'll, I'll tell these people, I say, look, if you don't start taking time to nourish yourself, and if you're spending too much time nourishing your partner, you're going to leave your partner when you, because you're going to fall in love with someone else because you're going to need to get away from your partner just to survive because you'll get that drained. You'll get so drained, you can't function anymore. So it can be very, very difficult. Now, over time, literally what happens is they get partners who can't nourish them back. But as they grow up, as they get older, that karmic burden of being starved in their relationships gets reduced. And then they can get better partners or their partners can become stronger people that have some energy to nourish them in return. But it's a very sad one to me because they really do work so hard to try to make their partner happy, but their partners just aren't equipped to do it. They just, may, they just might have, an, like I've seen it, their partner just has an emotional weakness. Lots of times they see their partner has an addiction that prevents them from being a good partner. Um, lots of women with this will marry alcoholics and things like that. Um, and so it's a very troubled combination, okay? It can be very difficult because it affects such an important area of life. It affects our ability to be rejuvenated and nourished. And um, it's not as painful as Saturn Moon because Saturn Moon affects everything in our lives, whereas Saturn Venus affects nourishment from external sources, which particularly means other people. Okay. Any any questions about that one? Yeah, in my experience, I have seen this this conjunction is I would say as painful as Saturn Moon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've seen it mess up a lot of charts. It's true. The, the only good thing is is that Venus helps Saturn in return, whereas Moon hurts Saturn. So you get a worse conjunction. One way you can look at the house that Saturn Moon is in will be in really bad shape. The house Saturn Venus is in will not be in as bad a shape because Saturn is at least getting helped by Venus. So through perseverance, the person can grow into a healthier person. Whereas with the moon influencing Saturn, the person's always longing for something not available for them. So they don't know, they're not as good at working with what they do have to make progress in their lives as the Venus Saturn person is. But the, the amount of pain you get from relationships going bad, of course, is severe, you know? But um, there is a little bit that at least you get a better Saturn, which means you can endure more with a moon Saturn, with a, you can endure more with a Venus Saturn than you can endure with a moon Saturn, you know? Yeah, because like, uh, as the classics, when they were written by the Rishis and Sages, so that time, like, even they say that the Nakshatra where moon is, that's very important because the earlier times uh, people were very much concerned about society and rules and but nowadays people are becoming more and more it's like oh i will do what i want <laughs> now what i yeah. need to do rather than what society says so and relationships like venus earlier times as we see like that was like one part of life but nowadays 
it is like such an important part of life because the yeah. structure is going down so yeah it is a very challenging thing and one more thing uh, i have seen is like maybe you can also say on this that they generally tend to attract partners who are elder to them in age so wh- why do you think that happens generally um i don't always see that one person i have in mind his wife is gosh at least it's like 9 years younger okay younger um now in a you know the i'm trying to think what's changing that in that person's chart let's see mars is younger they do have mars with their seventh lord so that's probably why they were with this they married a younger woman before that they were dating an older woman though so yeah i would say the saturn venus will give an older partner but there might be other factors indicating a younger partner so depending on the dasha this person married in a dasha relevant to the seventh house which was influenced by mars and mars is younger so um but yeah in the dasha of venus or dasha of saturn you bet an older partner would be indicated um so look but always check the seventh house factors for that too um older partner or a more sick partner is also a possibility because with saturn is always older sick and sickness doesn't always mean physical sick lots of times i find it's emotionally sick so one person i know his wife just she has rahu in the fourth house so emotionally she's just not a strong person and she smokes marijuana and so she's trying to deal with her emotions and she doesn't feel secure enough to really be a good partner so he constantly has to put more work into her then she's getting giving back cuz she's just doesn't have the emotional fulfillment to give back um so she's sick on an emotional level but she is younger than him so older or sicker and the idea is an older person has less energy to give you back right okay yeah so it's basically the idea is there's an, an imbalance of what the partner can give back because they're sick emotionally mentally or physically or possibly all three if you really got a difficult chart <laughs> okay okay yeah but it's it's definitely tough i've seen some very sad stories with that you know um and what i've also seen though is the saturn venus person is a sucker for punishment though they just they they just give they they put themselves there they they have even when they have the choice to not have that suffering from another person they put themselves there they like they're they decided to make themselves suffer in love it seems See with any Saturn conjunction it's a karmic repercussion which means we want to burn that karma and so people are literally will put themselves there they will pick the partner purposefully that's going to be difficult you know um and I, I they just definitely beat themselves up they set themselves up for this these difficulties um especially with Saturn Venus I've seen women who just you know one woman had it was a beautiful girl you know beautiful beautiful and she um got a job to model in Europe with this huge um very prominent firm you know so instant she would have been successful making $300,000 a year and she was born in uh you know uh you know part of america that's looked backwards you know where people don't have a lot of opportunities where an opportunity like that comes once to a million people and not even that once to every 10 million people and she had a boyfriend and the boyfriend what just told her if you go i'm not going to wait for you and so she stayed with this boyfriend who ends up being a horrible you know husband and um and gave up this opportunity of a lifetime because the guy said well if you go i won't wait for you the and who who you know if someone's not going to wait for you to come back making $300,000 a year that person must be a serious idiot right but that's the idiot she decided to marry and literally what happens is that saturn venus people have very low self worth they just don't feel they deserve something worthwhile that something good and beautiful venus is very much a planet of i'm worth this i'm worth a good life on earth i deserve a healthy life on earth and saturn venus people don't feel they're worthy and so they end up with partners who don't treat them in a worthy fashion and lots of times the partners want to but they just aren't able to and sometimes the partners just don't care so it is very difficult and of course you mentioned it you see it as bad as the moon 
Well, of course, we know the Venus exalts the moon, right? So there's a strong connection between the moon and Venus and what they give to us. Yeah, and uh, sometimes I have seen with this conjunction that, especially in case of ladies, I've seen that they, they are in a relationship with somebody else and uh, with somebody and the entire college or the entire office or the entire community knows that this marriage will not work. But still, <laughs> yeah. they, still they are hellbent. No, no, no. He will change his this. He's, he's good. He, they, they will try to prove that that person is very good because again, they, they have to suffer that karma. So they are, they are committed to suffering. You bet they are. <laughs> yeah. They, they literally uncon on an unconscious level, they literally just think they're worth shit, you know? And they also can be this way about getting paid. Lots of times they'll work for less money than they're worth. Anything that they're really into demeaning their worth and value. Yeah. And many times I've seen that these people, they're too much over cautious about their appearance. Also, they're like, Oh, maybe I'm not looking good. And they're like, yes, because they have no self worth. So they can, they can overdo their appearance. But on the good side, what they have, the Venus is helping Saturn, which means they can suffer a tremendous amount without getting broken. Okay. See, what happens to a lot of people is they suffer and they break. Something inside them breaks. And that broken part can be broken so bad they may never fix it. Like a Moon-Saturn conjunction. Uh, there's a part in that person that can get broken to where they, can't, they can never repair it. A Venus Saturn person will suffer, but they don't break. So the, the, when that suffering stops, when they start developing a sense of self-worth, they're not the same kind of broken people a Moon Saturn person can be. If you see a Moon Saturn conjunction, you have to examine that chart very, very carefully to see if the person's going to break to the point of no repair, because it does happen. Where the Venus Saturn conjunction, they, they their ability to handle pain before they break is really phenomenal um the one yeah and i've seen them go through hell and come back i've seen them go through 20 years of horrid marriage experiences you know being abused drunk husbands living in poverty and in their 40s still being viable people who can change and turn their lives around and end up having good lives where a saturn moon conjunction who has that horde of a life they become so broken that there's usually no fixing them, okay? So there's definitely a, a, an advantage of that the Moon Venus, sorry, the Venus Saturn has. Of course, we always have to analyze the whole planet because, you know, the Moon might be with Saturn, but then, you know, other planets can be helping the Moon or helping the Saturn. So as always in any of these things, we just talked about one conjunction, Saturn here, you have to look at the condition of the planet in entirety, which means you have to look at all the planets that are affecting the other planet, the sign the planet's in, and judge it, the pluses and minuses, to see if the person can handle the negative thing without breaking, okay? Um, and if the pluses are strong enough to further them in life in the face of the negatives, because there's always a mix. You know, that's why nothing in life is perfect. There's a mix, right? Um, so, so anyway, that's the Saturn Venus, I guess. Any other questions on that or yeah, comments? That's fair enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we will record Rahu Ketu in the last part. Okay. So thank you. Oh, very okay. Much. Do you want to do Rahu Ketu too? Sure. We'll do the Rahu Ketu real quickly. You bet. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. We'll see each other again. Okay. Thank you. Okay.